Hello YouTube and beyond, my name's Scott Naismith. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got some great new videos uh, sort of relating to my upcoming show, Order and Chaos, which this video is about. Uh, and it's time-lapse footage of three of the paintings at that show being painted. Those paintings are Glenfinnan Viaduct, uh, Nice Point Sky, and uh, the Wallace Monument, uh, all of which will be shown at Order and Chaos, that's the, the new solo exib exhibition at Le Monde Gallery on the 19th of July, uh, which is this Friday if you're getting this uh, first time around. Now, uh, the purpose of this video is just to explain some of the uh, sort of concepts behind the title of the show. So, the title of the show being Order and Chaos. Uh, it's just maybe best to establish what I mean by that. Anyone familiar with the yin yang symbol or the concepts of order and chaos philosophically and things like that might have most of the background. I have listened to a lot of uh, podcasts and things from Jordan Peterson who explains these concepts really well. Sometimes I like to look into various different theories on things like that while I'm painting which helps some of the concepts develop. Uh, other theories that I've looked at recently have been a theory called the Electric Universe from uh, on YouTube. It's uh, Thunderbolts Project if you're interested in that. There's two paintings at the show called uh, Electric Universe and Plasma Sky and uh, a little bit of background on Thunderbolts Project would probably explain that. In short, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wild theory that uh, there could be a lot of more electromagnetism at work in um, in the kind of makeup of the universe itself, uh, which would explain a lot of uh, sort of anomalies like black holes as such. Uh, and it's really interesting. Uh, some of the theories seem a little bit far out, but um, it just gives you that different uh, perspective of how uh, narrowly we can see the world at times when not questioning things. And that's kind of leads me on as well to explain order and chaos. Chaos being yeah. often thought of as the simply chaotic stuff and negative connotations uh, but when compared with order uh, chaos seems to stand for the exploration the adventure the pushing the boundaries the unknown the uh, the the exploration of of ideas and uh, and concepts and order being uh, more self-explanatory of of regimented and uh, sort of conservative and uh, uh, very much in the known um, and excesses of both of these can be bad. However, the obvious uh, difficulties with chaos are are probably the worst. But to think about an excess of order resulting in a horrendous chaos then imbalance is actually uh, what the, it seems to be an optimal uh, kind of place to reside. Uh, and that tells the story with a lot of my work. So uh, let's go on to the paintings. This one's called, uh, this one's got a more uh, self-explanatory uh, title. It's um, uh, Sky, uh, Sky Colour Spectrum. Um, but the, where it begins is very chaotic. So the paintings begin with chaos and then an assemblance of order uh, comes out of that. And it's almost like the way that life and the, the universe are created themselves, uh, order out of chaos, uh, chaos which is still within the cloud but to bring order of the chaotic marks within the cloud uh, to bring that balance. And then once the painting has the, that optimal balance of order and chaos, which is often, uh, which is often kind of very intuition based, a lot of, possibly my one most sort of asked question is how do you know when a painting's finished? And I guess one of the answers to that, and there's many, is when there's an optimal balance of order and chaos. I hope to see you on the 19th of July. Le Monde Gallery is in Bearsden, which is just outside Glasgow. For all details, I'll put links in the description and a full uh, selection of the works is now available online at Le Monde Gallery. See you in the next video.